school sex education concerns in Cedarburg. Potential changes to the curriculum are in the early stages, but it already has some parents upset. Brett Lemoyne shows us why doctors are joining this debate. Election day is often about change. In Cedarburg, Corey Rice Kaminsky is tired of waiting for it. This has been going on for how long? It has been going on since 2012. Kaminsky started a volunteer sex education alternative for Cedarburg students a decade ago. It was supposed to be a temporary solution to what she considers a problematic district course. You can see why we would have the emotional reaction of Th this is not right. Last week, the policy committee reviewed proposed changes emphasizing abstinence-based education. I'd, I'd like to table this one. A district spokeswoman says this was one of more than 100 policy changes proposed by Neola, an independent policy consultant. The committee raised concerns and requested revisions. And this proposal that is before the board now actually eliminates references to contraception at all. Parents say it's not enough for mom and dads to be upset about this issue, which is why doctors are offering their medical opinions. Knowledge is power. Kate Burroughs is one of six local doctors slamming the proposal. They say teaching abstinence only is ineffective in preventing teen pregnancy and sexually transmitted infections. I hope children are learning about this from their parents and that anything being taught in the school is in addition to that, Kaminsky hopes a heated school board race will bring a fresh perspective to the district course when or if the board takes up any changes. The funny thing is we all want the same thing. We all do want to deter teens from being you know, sexually active. It's just that our group wants to educate them as to why. In Cedarburg, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Now, since the proposal is still being drafted with outside help, the district did not defend it. A spokeswoman for Neola says their services costing Cedarburg $3,200 a year. The group helps more than 300 Wisconsin school districts draft policies. You can read more about this story on our website, fox6now.com.